Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my first story time on this channel. I'm really bad at explaining things, so I hope that this goes really well. So as you read from the title, this is going to be about the time I lost two of my best friends. Oh yeah, so before I start this video, I'm kind of sick. Oh, my voice is a little deeper than usual. And I actually, this is actually my second time recording this because the first time I was dying. I was like coughing like crazy. <coughs> My throat was super dry. <laughs> oh, my throat. So I couldn't, like, every time I say a sentence, I would end up coughing. Or I couldn't even say a sentence because I would be coughing. And then, um... <coughs> so this is my second time, second time filming this story. Instead of, like, saying their actual names, I'm going to be using cartoons. <laughs> There's going to be Bunny and Snoopy. Um, yeah, so these are just going to be the characters in this story time, and of course there's me. So let's get started on the story time. So I think this happened in 7th grade. Um, I had two close, really close friends, Bunny and Snoopy. Um, so there was one day in school where uh, Snoopy told me and Bunny that, we are that she has like a retreat going on at her church. And um, so she, invi she invited me and Bunny to go. And so, you know, we went, me and Bunny went to ask our parents and, you know, they, and they said yes. So we were able to go to this tr retreat with her. And so the day of the retreat, Snoopy brought me and Bunny to her church. And because that's where, um, that's how they were going to bring us to this retreat. And so we got there, you know, and then, you know, I was just kind of like meeting some of Snoopy's friends. And yeah, we were all just like getting ready to go. There was probably like at least 50 people going, 50 guys and girls going. Um, we were all like middle schoolers or I, I don't know if there was any elementary students, but I know there was defi definitely um, middle school students. And so we, we all separated into vans and, um, you know, of course I was with Snoopy and Bunny. We were like in the same van with maybe two or three other students and then uh and of course the driver it was a pretty long drive it was probably like an hour um so you know, we got to the retreat i can't remember where this retreat was so we walked into the house we were like we were all in the house um it was a huge house and then there the house had two floors the the first floor like once you walk into to this house it was just like a huge open space there was there was some couches here and there, but it was like just a huge open space. And um, there was also a backyard, a really, really big backyard. And then on the second floor, it was like a little smaller than the first floor. It was like about maybe two thirds of the size of the first floor. When we would sleep, the first floor would be just for guys because there was more guys than girls. And then for the second floor, it was um, all girls. So that's how we were separated when we uh, would sleep. So this was a three day retreat and so the first day, I remember this was a Friday because we went after school so this was a Friday. I don't think we really did much on the first day but I do remember we just like ate I think hot dogs and hamburgers. I remember playing this game with everyone. I don't remember if that happened on the first day or if it was on the second day but I remember playing this game with everyone. I remember on the first day I met one of, uh, well me and Bunny met one of Snoopy's friends. Um, she introduced us to Avocado. <laughs> I don't remember talking to her much because like you know we, we that was like the first time we met so we weren't that close yet and we're playing a hide and go seek tag i don't know if that's what it's called but you know you would hide and you would seek and you would tag people <laughs> but yeah i remember playing that and it was so fun because that huge that huge that house was huge and so you know there's just so much space to run around in and so it was really fun moving on from like the day it was time of time to sleep so you know, we all got our sleeping bags and everything, and we were on the second floor. And I remember sleeping next to Bunny and uh, Snoopy. So this was on the second day, which is Saturday. Um, I think this was, I remember this being pretty early, like around maybe three or four. And I remember taking a shower. So this place only had two bathrooms, the first floor and the second floor. Because there were so many people wanting to take a shower that some of the girls used the guys' restroom. And so I, li I was lining up for the guy's restroom. And so, you know, I was in line with Bunny. I can't remember why, but Snoopy wasn't in line with us. I think she was with Avocado and I was with Bunny. Oh, oh, one more thing. The second day, Saturday, the whole day I was with Bunny and then Avocado was with Snoopy. So we were kind of separated. We didn't really talk to Snoopy. Anyways, back to like the shower thing. I went to go shower first. And then when I came out, it was supposed to be 
it was supposed to be Bunny's turn, but I was like, I came out and I was like, wait, where is she? Where is she? Where's like, where's my friend? And so I was trying to find her everywhere in the first floor and I couldn't find her. I went into the backyard, couldn't find her. So I was like, could she be in the second floor? And so, you know, to get to the second floor, you have to, you have to uh, walk up the stairs. So I was walking up the stairs. So I walked up the stairs and before you enter like the space where all the girls slept at at nighttime, um, there's kind of like a mini hallway. So, you know, I was wa walking that mini hallway and then I went into the room. And then, do you know what I saw? <laughs> I saw Bunny, Snoop B, and Avocado, and maybe two or three other girls. They were all sitting in a circle. So, you know, I walked in. They were looking at me. They were like, kind of like a little shocked, but not really. But they were kind of trying to keep it, keep it cool, I guess. So, and then I kind of looked at them like, kind of like sad, but also kind of confused. And then, you know, I saw Bunny there with them. And then I was like, kind of shocked and sad because I was it was more like confused I guess because I was like with Bunny the whole day and then I see her hanging out with Snoopy and her friend Avocado and two other girls so I'm like wait why is like my best friend hanging out with these people so yeah I was very confused I was like why is she hanging out with them she's supposed to be with me like just me and then I kind of whispered silently like oh wait and I quickly turned around, I walked down the stairs, and I was kind of holding like the... You know how stairs, some stairs have like this handrail or something? So I was holding on to that and I was walking really so I was like... It felt like it was happening in slow motion because I was like, wait, hold on, like... What did I just see? Like, why are they together? What are they doing without me? Kind of thing, you know? It was so drama, like the moment I saw them and they were looking at me. I felt like the world paused for like five seconds of us just staring at each other. So yeah, like I was kind of like trying to process everything once I got downstairs. And then Bunny came, Bunny came after shortly. I don't remember talking to her about it. We just kind of pretended like I didn't see them. They didn't see me, just pretended that nothing happened. The rest of the day, I was with Bunny, and then Snoopy was with Avocado, maybe two of her other friends. You know, nighttime came, and then um, I remember sleeping next to Bunny and Snoopy sleeping next to Avocado. And then I got kind of sad because, you know, on the first night, we all slept together, but now she kind of like is with another friend. The third day came, that was the day we were supposed to go home, it's a Sunday, because, you know, the next day, Monday, we had school. So on Sunday, got into our vans and I was with Bunny and then Snoopy was with Avocado and we were in different vans. So some of you guys might misunderstand why I got mad. I didn't get mad because Snoopy was hanging out with Avocado. I got mad because like Snoopy was the one who brought me and Bunny here. Me and Bunny didn't know anyone there. Like we've never met any of her friends there. And so I felt kind of like she just brought us there and she didn't really hang out with us and started hanging out with her other friends there. Like, I don't care if she hangs out with her other friends, but I wish we kind of all hung out as a group because I felt like she kind of has some kind of responsibility since she's the one who brought us there. Like, you know, like, I don't know if that makes sense, but that's how I felt at that time because I do feel like um, since you're the one who brought us there, you kind of have some kind of responsibility to make sure that we're okay and that you know what I mean? So I just felt like she didn't do that and that's why I got mad at her. And so the next day, Monday, because you know me and Snoopy and Buddy were best friends so I don't remember hanging out on Monday. I don't remember who I was, who I hung out with. Maybe I was with Bunny, I don't really remember. Yeah, I think I was with Bunny the whole day at school on Monday. But then at the end of the day, when we were going home, I saw Bunny and Snoopy together and they were and like I saw them, they saw me. They were like whispering and looking at me and then I just started bawling my eyes out because I was like oh my gosh I just lost two of my best friends like yeah like I was just like so sad and then I was bawling my eyes out and then um they saw me crying too I remember walking to my mom and then I was like mommy and then like I hugged her and then she was hugging me but she was like why are you crying like what is wrong with you like what happened who bullied you this must be about Bunny and, Bunny and Snoopy because I, f I already had a feeling something was off when you went on that trip on Friday I was just like Mommy. <laughs> I was just like crying and crying and crying after this happened I guess I didn't really have any friends in school because they were like my best friends I didn't really have anyone else before I became best friends with Snoopy and Bunny I hung out with uh, this person named Egg <laughs> um, we were like best friends in 6th grade? 
I think. And then there was something else, something happened between us. And so I became really close friends with Bunny and Snoopy. You know, after losing them as a friend, I didn't really have anyone. So I kind of like asked Egg if we could become friends again. I, be I was friends with Egg and some other classmates. That's it to the story and I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>